Hello Cypher's community, welcome back to Nilbert and these console video. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the game. What I think about the game nine months after update 6.0. Monday, September the 16th, marks nine months after update 6.0, which completely changed the entire game. A lot. So in this video, I'm going to be doing World War II. I'm going to be talking about like main stuff first, then you go over the World War II. Then the Cold War section. The Cold War section will be at the end of this video. And I will try to hit everything I like and don't like about this game. I also did a poll on the community page asking, it's like, hey, should I do one of these videos? And 323 people voted, 91% said yes. So, so let's get into it. So the first thing is that what has changed? Let's go to World War II first. Um, things I like. Let's get the big one out of the way first. The biggest thing I hate, the biggest thing that has been a part of um, 6.0, the RNG changes. I'm not gonna go really into detail about this because I wanna make it entirely separate video on the RNG changes. But the RNG changes suck and yeah, I hope they get reverted, basically. If you don't know, RG changes make your average... Basically, if your gun hits for 400, because the RNG changes, you will... Your average is 400, but because of the RNG changes, it's lower than 400. It might be 360. Also, penetration. Your penetration may t be 258 on average, but now, because of 6.0, well, RNG changes, it's like 270, 280. Which sounds good for you that's shooting, but terrible for the people that are getting shot, which makes armor pretty much useless now. But I'm not going to go over the RG changes because I want to make an entirely separate video on that. So, what has came and what has went? So, also with 6.0, we have got things back. Some things have got worse that they brought back. Some things were still missing. And some things they have brought back are a lot better. Um, I can say that there's different garages. It depends, depending on if your tank has camo or not. Also, depending on what season the camo you have. If you have a, a winter camo, it'll show you a winter garage. Summer camo, summer garage. If you don't have no camo, it shows you another different type of garage. It shows you this garage. Urban, it shows you this type of garage. But yeah, I like how the garage changes. That's actually a really neat thing. Also with 6.0, well, it's been recently happened since like uh, June or July, they have brought back rebalancing changes to the game. The last changes were the IS-4 line. Then before that was the mouse line, and before that was the K-91 line. And they're still bringing out more changes. So things are still are still getting rebalanced. Also, the detailed stats has came back better. I like it. Like, this is more details than we had before. I mean, yes, there's still some missing stats on here, but there's more than we had even before 6.0. Let's see. Um, I, I could talk about the armor viewer. The armor viewer has Cold War in mind right now. World War II and Cold War armor viewer is like mixing the two each other, so that's a bad thing because if you have a lot less armor, Basically, it marks, marks everything color, like that. You would think the lower plate, the upper plate, the commander's hatch is all the same, but it's not. The commander's hatch is 240, the upper plate, I mean the lower plate is 180, the upper plate is 160, I meant the lower plate was 180, oops. But yeah, that's what about the armor viewer. Equipment. We have got different pieces of equipment. We, at first start, we got four pieces of equipment, which are the four pieces of equipment slots, which lets you take off the enhanced target info. 
Sometimes I take it off, sometimes I do. I don't. I do like the the new speed equipments that make some tanks faster. I do wish that the traction system was just a plus five kilometers. So instead of plus 10%, it should be plus five kilometers, not just a percentage. Not both of them percentage. Just add this one as like top plus five kilometers and the other one as a percentage point. The advanced armor, I don't really use that much because eh. I do miss my binoculars and camo net. I, we can, we sort of have the camo net as the advanced concealment, but I miss my camo net. I miss my binoculars because I used to sit in the bushes and let those things activate. Binoculars was really good to getting a lot more view range. Let's talk about the commanders. Commanders now. Since 6.0, we have got commanders. They've went from crew to commanders. The maximum before, crews could have 25 skills. Commanders can only have 9. But during the changes, the skills got more powerful during the commander phase. Also, the commanders could go to any country and any tank in the game for a small price of gold and a small price of silver. So, yeah. And there's also new skills since 6.0. Well, since before 6.0. One of them's rapid loading. And there are some we're missing. Like, if swimming, we're missing swimming lessons. Uh, what's the one that had, it was the commander. If a crew would get knocked out, then the commander would pick up the skill. Well, I don't remember what it's called, and I can't really remember how to describe it, but we're missing that one. Miss it, because that was a nice one to put on if you didn't run a med kit. Now let's go back. Um, we also have 3D commanders. Am I a fan of them? No, not really. I mean, they're there. Who cares? The commanders, what we're still missing is to change the crew voice of the commander. I miss that because I would really like to play, put different crew voices. I, uh, I like to put, let's say I have a Russian commander and my IS-4. If I recruit it, it's going to speak English, but I want to speak Russian because it's in a Russian tank. I also, if, most people don't know this, but my chisel... Where did my chisel go? Oh yeah, chisel's here. My chisel actually has a Turkish crew in it because I switched, switched the commander from saying English to Turkish when you could. That was a really cool part of the game, and now we can't do it. Speaking of tanks, tech tree. Oh yeah, we have commander filters. Commander filters are really nice. Tech tree. Um, tech tree is a little bit more confusing now. It's... I'm kind of used to it. I'm kind of used to it. It takes more getting used to than the old one. When it was just laying left to right instead of down to up. It gets time to get used to it because it goes... Yeah, it goes mediums, tank destroyers, lights, then artillery. But yeah, it takes time to get used to it. I'm used to it, so if we go back to the left to right, I would be fine with it. If we stay like this, I would be fine with it. Now, the premium tech tree, even though it looks like a complete and utterly mess, and even before 6.0, the premium tech tree was a complete and utterly mess. Two things. One, I like this tech, I like this premium tech tree better because it is actually pretty organized if you figure out how to use it because it goes lights, mediums, heavies, tank destroyers, artillery, and if you look on the top of the screen, it shows you the American flag, then the Russian, then the German, then the British, then the French, 
then the Chinese, Japanese, Czech. Oh yeah, there's only one Czech. Hello, Czech. Swedish, Poland, Italian, mercenaries. And that's how you read the premium deck tree. And also it goes from the lowest tier to the highest tier. Now if I want to find the object 260, that's actually really easy. It's a tier 10 Soviet heavy tank. I like this version of this tech tree better because there's the Soviets, here's the heavies, and I scroll all the way up to find the tier 10s. And there it is. Ta-da. Also, the old premium tech tree did not have this, a premium tank filter, which is really nice to have. This is a nice thing to have because, let's say if you're looking for that object 260, all you have to do is Soviet, tier 10, heavy. Ta-da, magic. And also if you're wanting to look at trade-ins, you hit the trade-in button and there's all your trade-in tanks. What about the tanks you don't own? Boom. On sale tanks. Boom. Easy. Premium tech tree filters are really nice. Very nice I have. I like that. I'm trying to think of things I don't really like. Big one, biggest one is the RNG changes. Also another thing is consumables. I don't really like how they charge you every single time you go in battle, even if you don't use it. Wargaming's like, hey, they have passive boosts now, so they charge you every game. But there is like, the premium consumables before 6.0 had passive boosts. If you didn't use it, it didn't charge you, so you would try to save it. But now, they spend, they cost every single time. You go into battle, so that's 30,000 per battle. Even if I don't use that fire extinguisher. 30,000 per, uh, 10,000 10, even though I didn't use it. Also, I don't like how this is not automatic anymore. The premium fire extinguisher is no longer automatic. Why? Why is it not automatic anymore? I also forgot to say this. When you are just, let's say if you put a skill on it by accident, you just put a skill on it. It's like, oh no, I didn't want last stand on the tank. Used to, before 6.0, you would go to the skill and and click change a SWAT skill or just take the skill off for 10 gold. But now you have to take all the skills off. So I just spent 20 gold to take off that one skill. I don't like that. We need our 10 gold back. Speaking of 10 gold, equipment, same exact way. Used to before 6.0, you would, like, hey, you would go and sell a piece of equipment. You would sell the crew vents. You spend your 10 gold, you get full silver back. You would get your full 200, uh, two, you spend your gold, 10 gold, and you would get your full 500,000 silver back. That was a really nice thing to have. Also, I do like all the sound effects. Now, what else? Season tab's actually really not like. Season tab is better after 6.0. Because before, it's before 6.0, it was just kind of through, thrown there, and now it's just better. Um, this? Let's go with stats. Stats, 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 stats. Used to, when you went to your profile, now it's called stats, it would show you a filters at the top. There are no filters here. So if you're looking for a specific tank, the only things that you can do is if you hit on PlayStation it'll be L2, these are your only filters. Ascending or descending. Used to you could look for type in 10 heavy premium. And it would bring up your tier 10s, heavies that are premium. 
and boom, you could find it. And here you can't, there is no filters. This section right here, the stat section needs to be worked on because, ah. Now, let's talk about settings, I think. Yeah, it's settings, settings too bad, fine. Um, let's go to options. So what has came after 6.0? Colorblind mode. We didn't have this before. You can set to different colorblind mode. These still need to be worked on because there's some still bugs in the colorblind modes. Because I gotta talk to Vinto about that. Be like, hey, this is actually my, my colorblindness, and there's there's a reason I don't use it. It's I use the colorblindness because the indicators the penetration indicators to change the color of the penetrated colors of penetration indicators before 6.0 when you went to colorblind mode your teammates would be green enemy would be bluish purple the indicators would be okay blue would be you could penetrate yellow would be you could maybe penetrate and gray would be you can't penetrate this now if you do the color blind mode it's red you could penetrate yellow you can't penetrate or it may be orange it's orange you orange you may can penetrate and yellow you can penetrate i mean can't penetrate yellow you can't penetrate orange you maybe can penetrate and red you can't can penetrate like I'm colored by mint those three colors they look identical to me I've not been able to use the end of penetration indicators penetration indicators since before 6.0 yes you've heard me right <laughs> I have no idea what they say I keep forgetting to tell Minto that but I know weak points I know takes weak points so I really have been bothered by it, but there's other people that will be bothered by it. That has my uh, color blindness. Also, I like 3D skins. 3D skins are very nice to have. Also, I do like how the boosters are right there in the bottom left. Like that came after 6.0. You just click L3 and there's all your boosters. It's no longer hidden. It's right there out in front. Also, it's been eight months nine months and we still don't have a warning before we go into battle that hey I can click this thing doesn't have a commander in it but I can click the battle button go into a match and never get warned that I don't have a commander in it I mean it's been nine months everybody's been asking for it why have we not got it yet these are the questions we ask and we need one because I go into battles by accident without a commander all the time. Hello guys, this is going to be a two-part episode. Um, this is the first part. The second part is going to come out tomorrow. I, If I put both of the parts together, it's going to be like 40 minutes on. So, second part tomorrow. I thank y'all for watching this. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Also, remember to subscribe because we're not. And peace out. See ya.